so this is the installation page for the amazon q setup so just to go through these steps on how to install the q and most important step is step number six where you have to create a builder id so for builder id you just open it in new tab and you will see that uh, how you are going to create the builder id and go to step one aws builder id creation and now start entering your email address so once you enter your email address just simply press next enter the verification code that you receive on the email address enter the username and password of your choice and press next now your id is created once your id gets created now go back again to the page and uh, follow step one where you download the mac os image for mac os for amazon q setup so once it gets downloaded so just like any other installation just double click it just follow the simple steps for installation for like it goes for any other software once it is installed in your launch pad find the application and just launch it now it will uh, ask you to uh, do the installation and basically sign in to the amazon builder id that you just created so just enable the accessibility options by reading this uh, these setting notes give the accessibility permission sign in using the builder id now it will ask for further access like to access your data on the command line allow the access click on show details if you want to know about what all access it requires it's mostly the uh, access to read your data on your terminal once your request is approved you are all set and your application uh, on your mac will look like this you can explore all these options whenever you uh, get more time i will mostly uh, i will jump on the terminal and basically start show you a glimpse like how you can use this um, queue uh, developer queue from your command line so once you log into the terminal you just have to type q to enable the amazon q and when when you are in, when it is enabled you will see a prompt from amazon q that it is enabled and now you can start playing with it
I will just ask a simple question like uh, checking if the python is installed on my system or not so just simply I will ask the questions like I ask in chat GPT and it will give me the answers by uh, by running commands on my terminal that's the basically the power of Amazon Q where it is going to run the commands on behalf of you note that it will ask for whether you uh, you want to allow you have to press yes the command it wants to run it will ask you you have to price uh, type yes or no or you have to select trust trust means that it will not ask for your prompt and it will just in uh, run the commands for itself so uh, choose carefully like what command it is typing and uh, then only select uh, yes i haven't tested or tried out other options like t that is trust but you are feel free to try it out now i will just show a glimpse of other minor capabilities that uh, it can do or uh, like for example i check python now i will check whether the java is installed even if, if anything is not installed and if you ask him to install the java on my system it is as simple that it you have to just press yes or you have to press t and it will automatically perform all the installation steps on your system that's basically the power of this agent that um, it's uh, taking decision on its own installing everything on your system like a small robot running uh, or working with you in parallel so you can see that it has confirmed that java 21 is installed on my system now i will uh, write ask him to write a small program in the python program is basically to uh, tell like uh, what are the number of uh, what are the prime numbers between 1 to 1000 and uh, you can see that it will it will automatically write the program for me so the best part is that program you can get it from chat gpt also but in terminal it gives you so much power that it can even run this program analyze the results and if there is a problem in the program execution it can correct it edit the program and rerun it so that's basically an agent taking decision on your behalf and that's actually next level of ai where you uh, work with uh, these agents on your system uh, with more powerful uh, with more powerful agents actually it gives you more development capabilities so uh, i will uh, you can play around with it and try to ask more questions and uh, install something check out the code from github repositories and uh, see how how it is more powerful and check like uh, what all things it can do for me well just now i shared a video about uh, amazon q and how you basically need to install that on your system and run it but uh, one thing that actually i want to point point out is that uh, always use these uh, agents with caution because uh, uh, i'm think uh, thinking of a scenario where you just install this on your system and you trust this and when you press t on the terminal it's able to decide uh, the commands next set of commands and run it on its own so this is a very powerful thing that uh, it's controlling your whole system and it can decide what things to install so uh, when it has power to install anything you know then it also has the power to uh, like uh, it, it, it is choosing it's making its decision based on the uh, plugins on the internet and the and the packages that it finds on internet and it's easy that uh, some hacker might uh, be using some package that is highly indexed on the Google and uh, these platforms can choose that plugin to install that on your system depending upon your need what capabilities you want to uh, try to install or what softwares or what all plugins you want to install your, on your terminal then it could choose those plugins to install on your system which are basically um, created by hackers and uh, that's actually uh, 
so once it's able to download something from the internet and able to install it on your system then actually that could be a problem if you are using your system for your banking purpose also because uh, that uh, installation can control your whole system and see what you are typing and all that stuff so uh, make it a practice that uh, if uh, if you are using these agents then use it with caution try to not to uh, trust it completely and uh, whenever it's uh, uh, it is firing a command then you prompt with yes and no uh, by seeing what it is trying to do or the best is that you do this uh, you don't do the banking transactions or or banking or open your banking stuff on the same system on which you are working with agentic ai because even if you uh, uninstall the agents it, it there might be a possibility that it that the, the plugins that it has installed when it was on your system that plugin may not get installed so that's the thing that i just wanted to uh, mention that use it always use it with caution for now because these are new and uh, uh, the securities around this system is still i i believe that it's uh, still in the growing phase so yeah that's all thank you